Welcome drone video fans. We've got another video here of one of uh, Ashtabula County's uh, covered bridges. This one is the Liberty Street uh, Bridge, covered bridge in uh, Geneva, Ohio. Uh, we're about to cross the street here and uh, go look at the uh, dedication marker that's uh, set up. This bridge was built um, by the Ashtabula County Vocational Education uh, System by students. They put it together modularly and brought it to the site and then it was installed and dedicated in October of 2011. Uh, right next to uh, this uh, obelisk, uh, stone obelisk, is a information center which has um, uh, a bit of information about the various um, covered bridges all in Ashtabula County and we'll kind of get back to that uh, later on in the video. Uh, while there was no traffic coming, I decided I'd uh, venture out here in the street and kind of get a, a nice uh, uh, view looking west uh, at the uh, bridge itself, the full uh, span of the bridge. Uh, it's got little side panels that uh, actually cover over the walkways, which kind of add to it. And as you can see, it says 18 foot span. It is the shortest bridge in uh, the United States, shortest covered bridge. So um, uh, I was a little nervous about flying underneath this all metal roof and my GPS guidance signal actually did drop from uh, 17 satellites down to six as I passed under this metal bridge. But um, I had the, the vision positioning uh, system uh, functioning as well, so wasn't too worried about it. Um, we're going to uh, go out, out here, turn it around, and go back through in the opposite direction. And uh, uh, once we get uh, on the inside of the uh, bridge itself, we're going to stop and uh, I'm going to check to make sure that there's uh, no cars coming. You can see me uh, sort of peering along the side over there look, looking for, uh, for cars. And I'm going to stop it in the middle of the, of the bridge and uh, give it a a quick 360 uh, so at any point you can actually pause the the video if you want to catch some um, more detail about the construction and the building of the uh, of the bridge itself but it's um, a fairly simple structure and again it was put together by vocational education students uh, in modular form brought to the site and assembled and installed back in October of uh, 2011. Um, down the road is a, is a, um, a car wash and uh, I was also hoping that on the railroad track to the right there would be a, a, a train coming by soon but uh, I never did uh, see any train activity. That would have been a, a plus if uh, I could have uh, uh, shot some video of a, of a train going by at the same time, but uh, maybe in, a, in another visit. Uh, we're going to turn here. There's a little parking lot, uh, plenty of parking for people to come and visit. Uh, the little structure you see in front is a toll uh, structure for people to collect a toll. I'll tell you more about that later. Right now we're going to check out the little stream that this bridge spans. Uh, it's not much of a stream really, but uh, it does actually swell considerably during and after uh, rainstorms. And when I turn and face the bridge itself, if you look on the uh, concrete uh, base of the bridge, you'll see some uh, green uh, marks that indicate how high the water level has raised uh, at certain times d during uh, periods of high rain. But uh, for the most part, uh, what you see in, in this video is about how much water is, is uh, actually running underneath this, uh, this bridge. Not a lot, but enough to, uh, I guess, justify the uh, installation of this uh, rather uh, nice, quaint, and simple uh, covered bridge with uh, a walkway on either side. So we're going to uh, get uh, a little hike going here and, and uh, take a look at the uh, metal roofing material that they put on the top of this. 
Uh, I see that a lot of uh, places are starting to use this metal roofing material because it's it lasts basically lasts forever. So it gives this bridge a, a very long uh, lifespan. Uh, there's no maintenance to it, and uh, people are even putting it over the top of their asphalt uh, shingles on their homes because of its low maintenance and uh, long life. And uh, it's a little more pricey, but I guess when you consider how long it lasts, uh, it's pretty cost effective. So again, we're going to uh, get a little altitude here and uh, uh, fly over the top of this. Again, you can see the uh, uh, little uh, toll booth that's uh, off to the side there, and, and we'll be taking a little closer look at that uh, shortly after we uh, do full justice to this uh, bridge. You can see the uh, eaves on either side of the uh, roof itself and clearly visible is the word 18 foot span so <laughs> it, it doesn't take long to go over this bridge if you blink while you're going over it you're gonna probably miss uh, most of it. There are a lot of uh, uh, wires and city lights and things like that and uh, storm sewers as you can see in the road uh, all of those storm sewers that you see on the side of the road they all run into that little creek that it goes over you see one right in the center of the road as well um, it all helps with drainage the, even the person in the property on the right hand side has a storm sewer which drains into that little creek there is still a fair amount of traffic that goes over it and it's mostly local traffic going to houses that are located uh, to the west of this location. And um, now we're going to proceed uh, back to the east here across the, the bridge, across the top of the bridge. And um, you can see me hiding in the shadow of the little to toll booth uh, trying to get a little uh, protection from the sun so that I can see my screen uh, and the information on my screen a little bit better. Um, but uh, and then the toll booth itself is also covered with that same uh, metal roofing material which again lasts a long time. What I'm kind of zooming in here is the um, is the curb right next to the sidewalk. If you look at it real closely and you might have to stop the video you'll see that it's imprinted with little um, uh, leaves from uh, grape vineyards and uh, grapes because uh, Geneva is kind of like a, the grape capital of uh, Ashtabula County and they have a uh, grape festival and there's like about 30 wineries in the area so if you're into uh, wines of uh, different uh, you know styles and flavors uh, this is definitely the place to come and check out some of the uh, wineries. Uh, now we're going to kind of take a little look at this uh, uh, toll booth and again the whole idea behind putting this up was to remind people that back in the old days uh, when, whenever there was a bridge that went over any kind of water or you know uh, something like that um, there was usually a toll booth next to it and, a, and there would be a toll keeper inside of it that would collect some kind of a token or a small amount of money whether you know a penny or two pennies or something like that uh, and you know it was just a pretty pretty common practice back in the old days so uh, when they decided to go ahead with this project and put this bridge in um, they thought about you know the historic nature of these bridges and and uh, were you know thinking forward enough to uh, include something like this that I actually think it kind of adds to the to the atmosphere of the bridge uh, since the bridge itself is, is pretty small and this is just a, a quick side view uh, from the bridge and uh, this is considered a park so consequently in the back there just beyond my car you can see a picnic table I guess uh, every park has to have a picnic table I don't know if that's an Ashtabula County regulation, but uh, uh, you're free to, free to park in the parking lot and, and break out your picnic basket and enjoy the, uh, the uh, scenery and, and uh, the day. It's, as you can see, it's a, this was, a, uh, was shot about 10 o'clock in the morning was a, 
uh, a very nice uh, morning on <clears throat> the uh, 19th when I shot this. Uh, now we're going to look again uh, both ways before I cross the street because I'm going to go back and look at the uh, little information pavilion that's uh, next to the uh, obelisk uh, stone, um, dedication stone that's uh, there. And <clears throat> inside this information booth uh, is information not only about this bridge, but as you can see on the... Uh, right side of that map that's hanging up there. There are the locations of the 18 other covered bridges in Ashtabula County. Uh, there's also a spot there for people to reach in and get additional information about it, but it, it does give uh, quite a bit of information about the, the various bridges, this bridge, and uh, again there's a shot of the obelisk. Uh, before we wrapped up the shoe we wanted to get one more nice uh, uh, view and this is again the view uh, looking to the west and it uh, shows the, uh, the, the bridge in uh, all of its uh, 18 foot glory. <laughs> uh, as I said, it's, it's the shortest uh, covered bridge in all of the United States and, uh, uh, and it's definitely the shortest one in uh, Ashtabula County, but uh, it was kind of fun to shoot this one because I wanted to get this one in before uh, school let out because I'm sure that um, when school lets out it's going to be very difficult. Here we are back in the parking lot and we're getting ready to land so hope you enjoyed this uh, quick uh, trip to the shortest bridge in Ashtabula County.